market will ignore what's going on in D.C., just as it has ignored the impeachment process, just as it has ignored the Mueller report. The market is basically saying as long as central banks are supportive, that's what matters. And the setting aside all these other things. Um, and it speaks to the disconnect. The disconnect is not just between economists and market participants that we talked about earlier. It's between economists on the one side, and on the other hand, you have market participants, political science, and international relation experts. They are much more cautious about what's going on, but the markets ha are, are repeating the same game plan that has worked really well. Bet on liquidity, and it will power through all these uncertainties. But isn't that liquidity, Mohammed? this is Andy Serwer, um, isn't that liquidity sort of based on Jay Powell's take on things, which has increasingly become an international perspective, right? Which heretofore it hadn't been from the Fed. Absolutely right, Andy. I mean, I keep on cautioning, be careful that you cannot bet on liquidity long term. Yes, the Fed did a dramatic 180 a year ago. Yes, the Fed led other central banks to also follow it in, in policy loosening. But you can't repeat it over and over again. And meanwhile, the uncertainties are piling up. So if you're a tactical investor, life is relatively easy. If you are a longer term secular and structural investor, life is getting much more difficult. And the challenge for all of us is to navigate this growing tug of war between constructive short term and to use Ben Bernanke's phrase, an unusually uncertain medium term. So, Mohammed, and I know, as you say, we've talked about this before, and this is a theme you've touched on frequently, but what is going to change that? In other words, it can't work forever, but it has worked for quite a long time. So what is going to change that narrative? Will it be the Fed stopping? Will it be some exogenous event that we don't know what that's going to be? What's it going to be? So it's either going to be a major policy mistake or a liquidity accident, an endogenous liquidity accident in markets, or on the third one, a very big geopolitical political shock, a very big one. Um, so, for example, had we gone to war with Iran, I would tell you that's a very big geopolitical shock. But an escalation and then a de-escalation, no, the market sets that aside. So you need one of these three things, or more than one, to happen. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.